the Xbox Series X and S will soon be celebrating their very first birthday, so we thought we'd help you mark the occasion by providing a few helpful hints and tips for getting the very best out of your console. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more handy hints and tips like this. Trust me, you won't regret it. One of the biggest reasons for getting a next-gen console is always going to be that amazing leap forward in graphical capabilities, and the Xbox Series X and S are certainly no slouches when it comes to gorgeous visuals. Whether you're checking out Resident Evil Village's eerie ray-traced effects on the Series X or going all guns blazing with Gears 5 in 120 FPS on the Series S, both consoles have raised the bar for just how good gaming can look. But maybe you'd like to nudge it just a little bit higher? Well, then take a trip to the TV and Display Options menu and you'll find a few things worth tinkering with. If you're lucky enough to own a Series X and a TV or monitor capable of both 4K and 120Hz, then you'll be able to flick a few switches here to start enjoying the full power of your new machine. On both new-gen consoles, you'll be able to adjust everything from refresh rate to resolution settings and HDR calibration, helping you fine-tune your visual output to get the most out of your TV. And if you're not exactly sure what your television can and can't do, then no worries. You'll find the 4K TV detail screen gives you a full rundown of which features are available for you, so you don't need to be a tech expert to get the best experience. The last thing to do visuals wise is to make sure that your TV is set to game mode whenever you're playing. This will reduce the amount of time it takes for the screen to register your button presses. And while we're talking matters of milliseconds here, those super fine moments can make all the difference when you're neck and neck on Apex Legends or Rocket League. Unfortunately, the Series X and S consoles have a handy feature called Auto Low Latency Mode, which when activated will ensure your TV goes into game mode automatically whenever you're playing. For many people, an Xbox Series X or S isn't just the machine they'll be playing video games on, although it really is very, very good at that. No, the latest consoles are full-on entertainment hubs, which contain all sorts of apps that allow us to listen to music, catch up with our favorite TV shows, and settle in with a good movie. So to make sure that you're getting the best possible experience from these as well, it might be worth going into your volume and audio output menu to turn on a little feature called audio pass-through. This basically enables your media apps to take their raw audio and deliver it straight to your speakers to provide you with the purest sound quality available, whether you're listening through your TV's inbuilt speakers, a soundbar or a headset. After that, you'll see a pass-through icon in the top right corner of the screen anytime you hit the Xbox button with a compatible app playing, just to keep you right. Once you've got your TV and console perfectly synced up, you can take things a step further by going to Device Control in the TV and Display Options menu and turning on HDMI CEC. What this does is basically allows you to control your TV through your console, rather than faffing about with various remotes which is good because you're much less likely to lose your Xbox Series X down the back of the couch. You can watch both the Xbox and the TV spring into life at the touch of a button by selecting the console turns on other devices option and give your console the power to turn them both off when you're done playing. Plus, you can control the volume on your TV or soundbar straight through your console too. Little tricks like this just make it that much easier to run everything straight through your controller. And Henry, speaking of which, Making sure you have a controller that fits your individual needs and preferences has always been a major part of the Xbox philosophy, which is why you'll find controllers ranging from the Elite Series 2 to the Xbox Adaptive Controller, as well as a host of different color options for your standard Series X and S gaming pad and the boundless personalization potential of Xbox Design Lab. Once you've chosen the right controller for you, the customization continues. You can bind each button to whatever command you like by going into the devices and connections part of the settings menu. And you can even tinker with other things like vibration intensity too. And since Xbox are in the habit of rolling out beautiful new gamepads, you might want to subscribe and ring that bell if you want to be the first to hear about them and enjoy our hands-on unboxing videos. You can absolutely guarantee that we'll be showing off the Halo Infinite Elite Series 2 controller just as soon as we can. Naturally, you might begin to feel quite protective over your favoured, perfectly button-mapped gamepad. You might even get to the point where the idea of someone wandering into your room and picking it up with their greasy, greasy hands makes your blood run cold. 
which case you might want to relax and simply assign your Xbox account to that treasured controller. You can even set up a security password so that only people you trust can make use of your precious controller. Or you could be a grown up and learn to share. Either is fine. If you are feeling more hospitable, then you can set up a guest key which allows others to sign in and use your console without having to set up their own account. Ideal if you share a home with some other folk who might enjoy the occasional roll around in skateboard but who aren't playing regularly enough to need their own profile. And if you trust them a lot but not, you know, like that much, you can let them use the console but restrict them from using your payment info over at the Microsoft Store. One input you'll really want to fine tune is that wonderful new share button which allows you to upload screenshots and video clips at a moment's notice. Because when you tie a centre back in knots or finally take down that pesky kraken, you just want everyone to see it. Head into the preferences menu and you'll find a bunch of options for your captures, allowing you to set the duration that the button records for as well as the resolution that it records in. So if you want to capture your finest gaming moments in all their glory, you can bump it up to 30 seconds of glorious 4K. You can also decide whether your screenshots are automatically uploaded to Xbox Live or whether you'd like to vet them first. You know, just in case you accidentally capture yourself plowing straight off a mountain in Dirt 5. It's fine, no one has to know. If you're a space saver, you might also want to select where your captures are stored, which brings us up to our next section. External hard drives are a great way to boost your storage and to keep your collection of apps, captures and games a bit more orderly. By organizing things neatly, you can declutter your console's hard drive in a way that is sure to spark joy. Marie Kondo would be proud. The main thing to keep in mind is that the Series X and S's awesome quick resume feature will only be available for games that are stored on the console itself, so anything you're eager to jump into at a moment's notice should be kept there. Just absolutely have to be playing Watch Dogs Legions right now, right this second? Keep it on the console. Happy to wait through a few seconds of load screens before immersing yourselves in the tranquil star travelling of No Man's Sky? Fire that one over on your external drive. The main thing is that external options like Seagate's official Xbox expansion card can give you a full 2TB of space to play with, meaning you'll never have to make any hard decisions between your favourite games. And you might find yourself wanting that extra space even more if you've been an Xbox gamer for quite a while, because it would be crazy to move on to a new console and just leave all your favourite games behind. After all, they became your favourites for a reason. The network transfer option, which you'll find stashed in the backup and transfer section, allows you to automatically transfer over everything from other consoles onto your network, making sure that you've got all your stuff in one place. Alternatively, you can select hard drive transfer to move your stuff between consoles using an external hard drive, which is a nice option to have. Basically, whatever you prefer. Now that you've got your console, controller, picture and audio all fully locked, loaded and ready to go, the last thing that might need a little bit of nip and tuck is your home screen and guide. Since it's going to be the first thing you see every time you power up the console, it makes sense to outfit your home screen with whatever theme or background you like. Maybe even go wild and check out one of the Xbox Series X and S's hypnotizing dynamic backgrounds. Go on, treat yourself. But in more practical terms, you'll want to make sure that the home screen is set up so that you can immediately have the stuff you're most likely to need right at hand. Using the Customize Home tab, you can make it even easier to boot up the console and jump straight into your favourite games and apps without trawling through your whole library. And the same goes for the Customize Guide tab which lets you switch around its various pages. So if you're a gamer score hog who's constantly chasing down the next big score, then you can make the achievements page the first thing you see when you hit that lovely X button in the middle of your gamepad. Finally, we've got the Xbox mobile app. You probably got it installed and set up while you were setting up your shiny new next-gen console, but if you didn't, or if you haven't even looked at it since then, you could be missing out on a few awesome aspects of the Xbox Series X and S experience. Using the app, you can keep track of your achievements, carry over the chat from the last Warzone match with your friends, and even peruse the Xbox Game Pass catalogue and start downloading stuff onto your console from afar. Better yet, you can even use Remote Play to stream games from your console onto your PC or mobile device. And if you're the guardian of some budding little gamers, the app's family settings are the perfect way to manage their playtime. In short, the Xbox app lets you take that Xbox Series X and S with you wherever you go. 
Thanks for watching and be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for more helpful hints and tips for your consoles. See you next time. Bye.